you guys show up for each other here, but there is actually a secondary community as well who's showing up online and practicing together. So that's everyone on the screen today. We've got Minnie, we've got Jeanette, we've got Joyce, and then we have everyone in here. So we all got flip chips. Yes, we did. Sherman's, I'll get you two in the one moment. Um, but before we get moving, coming up in January, we have actually a sequence of little workshops that we're doing. So it starts on January 1st um, with a detox workshop with Debbie. So Debbie Dower usually teaches the Tuesday, Thursday, 915. She also teaches our 300 hour adaptation program. She's got over 30 years of holistic wellness experience. So she brings a lot of extra stuff to the table. Um, I highly recommend it. I personally will be going, but let's get moving. All right, child's pose. Take your knees out wide, fingertips up to the head of your mat. Take a nice full breath in. Exhale and settle down. Breathe in. Exhale and let all of your body press down onto the mat. Just start cycling your breath here. Learning and looking to lengthen your inhales and lengthen your exhales. Take a full breath in. Exhale and press down onto the mat. We're gonna take this one more time, all right? Big breath in. Open up your mouth, sigh it out. Last one, move it in. Blow it out. Inhale, come to downward facing dog. And from here, stretch it out. I know it's early in the morning, so bend your knees as you need to. We're gonna look for some space here. So press down through your fingertips and then let your sits bones press backwards all the way to the far side of your mat. Reaching up towards the ceiling, one more breath. Exhale. On your tippy toes, let's walk all the way to the head of your mat. Press your heels down, halfway lift. Big breath in, just stay here. Get your core engaged by breathing in, all the air out, blow it all out, out, out. Now hug your belly in. On that empty is where you're gonna find your core muscles engaging. Press through the crown of your head, straight out to the front of your mat, spits bones reaching backwards just like that, press into my hand. All right, ragdoll, let your head drop down. You can rock side to side if you like, anything that's gonna feel good here. Press your heels down into the mat. On your inhale, roll to stand. We're gonna take extended mountain, breathe in, lift up. Exhale your hands down to heart center. One big om. Take a breath in. Uh... Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Breathe in. If we lift, chaturanga, all that air back out. Upward facing dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Two breaths here, in and let it go. One more time, full breath in. Exhale, bend your knees, feet to hands. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, reach all the way up and back, forward fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. With your breath, upward facing dog on your inhale. Down dog, exhale. Take two full breaths here. Letting your sits bones press up and backwards, getting the full amount of space on your mat. Take a breath in. Exhale. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. 
forward fold. Extended mountain up and back. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Now this time, actively hug your arms together. So that's it, Bre Greg. Press in here. Now reach up and back. One more breath. Exhale. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain. Look to stretch up through your side body. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Move through. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Two breaths here. In. Press up and back. One more time. Full breath in. Exhale. Bend your knees. Let's move. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Last one. Inhale. Extended mountain reach. Fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Two breaths and we'll move through our sun bees. Let it go. One more time. Big breath in. All the air out. Move feet to hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. Sit low. Breathe in. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Take right side warrior one. So right foot down, inhale, reach up, exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, drishti. Downward facing dog, left side, warrior one. Left big toe presses down into the mat. Good job, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Press your thumb and your pointer finger down into the mat. That's it. Big breath in. Exhale. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair. Eyes to one point. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Shoulders back. Downward facing dog. Right side, warrior one. Inhale, go up. Exhale, back down. Moving with your breath. Up dog. Down dog. Left side, warrior one. It's not a race here. Inhale, up. Exhale, back down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Now you guys know we're always going to meet up here. Take your breath in. Sigh it out. So when you start moving ahead or behind, it's all right. We're going to meet here last time. Take a breath in. Exhale. Move. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose. All your toes off the mat. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog, shoulders back, down dog, right side warrior one. Inhale on your way up. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side warrior one, big toe down into the mat as you reach, chaturanga, bring it down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good job, everyone. Catch your breath here. Two more breaths. Find steady breaths. Last time, inhale. Bend your knees. Exhale. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair pose. Sit low. Fold. Halfway lift. 
chaturanga. Up dog on your inhale, down dog, right side, warrior one. Stretch through your side body, chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left side, warrior one. Take your time, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Two breaths here. Let it go. Good job. Last time in. Out. Feet to hands. Halfway lift. Fold. Chair. Fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Just let yourself flow. Up dog. Down dog, right side, warrior one. Chaturanga. Up dog, down dog, left side, warrior one. See what you see. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog and into downward facing dog. All right, good job everyone. Here, pick your right leg up into the air. Kick that here heel as high as it will go. Now bend your top knee, open up your hip. See all that space in your side body. Press your right pinky finger into the mat. Stay here or flip dog. Now drishti to one point. Just get your eyes open, set it to one thing. Let's have that be the whole point of the pose on this one. You've got this two more breaths. Yes, that's it. Last one, Heather. Back over, high plank, side plank. Right hand down, left hand all the way to the ceiling. Now, lift up as much as you can. Pick that top hip up two more inches. So lift through your side body. One more breath in. Chaturanga, exhale. Move through, up dog. Downward facing dog, right side crescent lunge. Yep, step it the whole way through, good job. Now get your base set long in this pose, long and also wide. Yeah, that's it. Now fingertips up to the air. And all I want you to focus on is stretching. So from your hips, all the way to your fingertips. Can you create more length? And yes, your legs are important here sitting low, but mainly can you stretch this pose all the way to the ceiling? Get as much height as possible. Now, with your fingertips forwards, lean forwards. So we're getting all the length from your back heel up to your top fingertips. Reach out as far as you can go. Hands to heart center, twist left. So this whole point is keeping your chest up a little bit higher in this pose. Yes, that's it. So now as you're reaching, see if you can add some twist. The length is going to be crucial here. Reach out as far as you can. Inhale, rise up. Take crescent lunge. Warrior two. Yep, all over here and warrior two. Now. Take a breath in. Exhale, extended side angle. Let's go for some arm circles with the top hand. So on your exhale, bring it down towards the mat in front of you. Inhale, lift it back up. Just looking to warm up your shoulder here with your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let it fall. Keep it moving two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fall. Last one. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, chaturanga. Move through, up dog. Via downward facing dog. And then we'll go left leg up into the air. Yep, kick the heel straight up. Bend your top knee. Open your hip. Left pinky finger down into the mat. Reach through your knee. Now stay here or flip dog. Think about creating space now with this left shoulder. 
pulling it out towards the side so that your shoulder blades can come together on your back. Good job. Two more breaths here. Shoulders together. Bring it back over high plank. And into side plank. Left hand down, right hand up this time. See if you can look towards the ceiling where your drishti goes, your attention goes, your energy goes. We're looking to lift as high as we can for this last breath. Chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left side crescent lunge. Yep, left leg all the way up. Now reach your fingertips towards the ceiling. Think about lifting the front of your pelvis up. So it's lifting actually straight towards your belly button. Just like this, lifting through the sides of your hips. Two more breaths here. You have this. Last one. Now reach your fingertips forwards. Yep. From your heel, you're looking to press all the way through your fingertips. That's it. Bring a little bit of softness to this back knee. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left. That's it. Now keep your back leg super active. Two breaths here. That's it. Last one in. Stay for your exhale. Breathe in, rise up. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Good job, Kelly. Come nice and low in your warrior two. Four. Extended side angle. Left hand down, right hand up. Now, arm circles. On your exhale, let your fingertips drop down. Inhale, bring them back up. Anyway, where each time on your inhale, you're lifting your top shoulder open even wider towards this ceiling. So you're actually using this movement to increase the depth of the pulse. Here we go. Let's do this one more time. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, chaturanga, back down. Upward facing dog. Through down dog. Take a breath in, sigh it out. One more time. Inhale, exhale, feet to hands. Halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Yes, here we go, chair pose. Now the whole trick for chair pose, by the way, the defaults here are either where you've got this duck thing happening, where you're letting your belly hang forwards, no support in your low back. Otherwise, what can happen is this as well. That one's a little bit more uncommon. But see if you can create a straight line from your hips all the way through your fingertips. And you can move through the defaults a little bit. Try it one way and then the other way. You're just discovering a chair pose where your core can get really active. Front ribs hug together. Low belly hugs up and in. You look you're like you're ready to be out of this. So forward fold. <laughs> Bring your feet nice and wide on your mat. Tuck your pointer fingers around your big toes and let your head hang down. Oh. I hope you guys know that I do base the length of these poses usually on your facial expressions. <laughs> When you guys start looking a little bit too much like, I think I might have to leave if this lasts one more second, then we move out. <laughs> Take a little sway from right to left, whatever is going to feel good here. Set it up. Chair pose round two. So bring your feet close together. That's it. Now sit low into your chair. Here you go. As you create this chair pose, think about hugging your inner ankles back and your outer shins in. That's it. Two breaths here. Take an inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, and we're going to twist to the right. Two breaths in right side twist. Here we are. Big breath in. Let it go. Last time, inhale. Stay for the exhale. Breathe in, rise up, chair pose. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left now. Hug in through center line for these two breaths. See if you can sit your hip lower than your heart. Last breath. And on your inhale, rise up, take chair pose. 
forward fold. Bring your feet wide on the mat, palms underneath your toes, and let your head hang down. Look for space in the back sides of your ribs as you breathe, like you're inhaling through each rib cage here. Let your head drop all the way down towards the mat. Downward facing dog. So from your downward facing dog, here's what we're doing. Walk your feet halfway up your mat. Halfway up your mat is going to put your shoulders directly on top of your wrists. Now from here, bring your big toes together on the mat. You're going to keep them together throughout this exercise, all right? We're going to take some frog hops today. So how this works is you bend your knees out towards the side, and then you take a little bit of hop up towards a handstand even. So all that is, you're going to work from your core here. Toes together, hands wide. We're going for a frog hops for 10. That's it. Toes together. Nine, eight. Doesn't matter how high you get. Seven, six, five. Good job. Four, three, two, one child's pose. So we're going to do a child's pose between these guys because we're going to do a second set. I know. Frog hops are so good for your core. And I tell you this because frog hops are probably one of the most, they used to be the most terrifying version of handstands for me. But guess what? <laughs> these little frog hops are what gave me the core strength necessary to get up towards a handstand. So they are, even if you can only get your toes off the ground one inch, incredibly powerful. Let's try it again. Downward facing dog. Now how you set these up really matters. Walk your toes in halfway towards your hands. Pointer finger has to press into the ground. Toes hug together. Let's go frog hops, knees wide and hop for 10, nine, eight, you've got it, seven, six, five, four, good job, three, two, one, child's pose, knees wide, toes together, yes, if you need a drink of your water, go for that, good job, everyone, now, this is the thing I love about inversions, Guess what? As soon as you've got two hands on the mat plus zero feet on the mat, that is an inversion. So congratulations. If you've never done a handstand before, you are officially a handstander. That's a part of your practice now. On your inhale, tuck your toes, come to down dog. And don't worry, we're not going to do those again. <laughs> so take a nice big breath in here. Exhale. Move feet to hands. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Forward fold. Chair pose. Yes, from chair, we're going to sit two inches further down towards the floor. And then we're going to sit three inches down. And then we're going to sit the whole way onto your mat and roll on your spine. So what we're doing is equanimity on the mat. Take your shins to parallel with the ground. So knees bent, oops, shins parallel. From here, wrap your right leg over and your right arm under for eagle on the mat. That's it. Now all I want you to focus on is your belly muscles. So how do you get those active here? Press your legs together. And I mean actively, top leg is going to press down, bottom leg hugs up until you can feel your belly button pressing down onto the mat. That's what we're looking for. Equanimity, the balancing poses are all about core work. One more breath, left side eagle, left arm under, left leg over. And yes, I know sometimes when you're laying on the back, the sides get confused. It's okay. 
you'll be all right. Now, hug. See if you can add that little bit of extra effort to get your core really engaged here for five, four, feet flex, three, two, right side, right arm under, right leg over. Here we go. Knees bent. Now we're going to add some little crunches to these guys. So elbows come to touch your knees and back down for five, four, three, feet flexed, two, one, left arm under, left leg over. This is the last one. You have this. Feet flexed. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Let your legs and arms go long on the mat. Ah, yes. Yeah, let your core totally release here with a big breath in. And exhale. Now hug your right knee in towards your chest. I'm going to come around with straps if you don't have one. Because we're doing standing leg raise on the mat. And that's going to look a little bit different than what you may have tried before. For my yogis at home, if you don't happen to have a strap with you, a belt will work. A dog leash will work. You know, anything, a towel, a t-shirt, any of these items. Nicely done. Do, do, do. One more. Oh, you got a freshly wrapped one. And finally, this is for you. Okay. So everybody's got nice. All right. Strap around the ball mound of your right foot. You can use the strap in two hands or just one. Around the ball mound of your right foot. Now, what's going to remain important in this pose is hugging in towards center line. So that means not only your top foot is active here, your bottom foot is also active and hugging into center. Now, I want you to take your left hand and sit it on your left hip point. Yep. Your whole job is going to be keeping this left hip point down on the mat as you drop your leg to the right. You're going to have to use your core to do this. Otherwise, this hip will immediately come off of the ground. Just like that, hug down through your stomach muscles for five. And yeah, that's a good job. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, one. Bring it back up to center. Now, switch your strap into your left hand. So just one hand. Keep your right hip down on the mat as you let your leg drop to the left. Usually what I find here is a really big stretch for my hip all the way to my ankle. Shortening your strap or decrease it by lengthening your strap. This is a Goldilocks and the three bears kind of pose. Sometimes it's going to be too hot. Sometimes it's going to be too cold. You're in charge of finding the version of this pose that's a challenge but not untenable. One more breath. Okay, good job, yogis. Bring your leg up to center. This knee into your chest one last time. You're just going to reset your hip before you let your right leg go out long and pick your left leg up now. So start with your knee in towards your chest. Then wrap your strap around the ball mound of this toe. Yeah, strap across your left foot. Now extend that left foot straight up towards the ceiling. Good job. Right leg is going to go long on the mat. You're just hugging into my ankle, by the way. So just like that. Now let your leg fall to the left. Keep your right hip down on the mat. Good job. Use your core to create this movement. Good things. Three. Nice job. Hug in. Two. One. Bring it back up to center. Now switch your uh, strap into your right hand. Keep your hip on the floor as you let your leg drop off towards the right side. Wilden, are you getting a stretch along the side of this hip? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Keep breathing here. Let your left hip melt down onto the mat. Bring your knees back to center. Now hug this knee in towards your chest. Remove the strap. We're going to rock head to toe three times. So all the way up and all the way back. 
on that third rock, we're going to all fours. So knees on the ground, shoulders stack right on top of your wrists. The whole trick here, take a second on your inhale, press up through your shoulders. So you're looking at the thoracic spine, that spot right between your shoulder blades. Kick it as high towards the ceiling as what you can. Now on your exhale, let it drop all the way down through your shoulders. So it's really sagging here. On your inhale, pick it up. On your exhale, let it drop. Now you want to find the happy medium between those two things. So not pressing all the way out and not letting your chest drop down somewhere in the middle. On your inhale, extend your right hand and your left leg, so opposite sides. Take a breath in, nice and slow on the exhale. Touch your knee to your elbow under you. Inhale, press out. Exhale, touch. Inhale, press. Exhale, touch. Let's go three more times. And out. Two more. Last one. And touch. Now bring your hands and your feet back down. All right, reset your shoulders. Take an inhale, press it up. Exhale, drop down. Now find your happy in between. Extend your left hand and your right leg. Take a nice big breath in, pressing as far as you can out. Exhale, hug. Inhale out. Exhale, hug. Nice and controlled. Four more times. And hug. Three more. Two more. Last one. Inhale out. Exhale, hug. Okay, feet down to the mat. You can take some little body circles here. Weight to your right hand and then to the left hand all the way around. Before we land right back over top and we're coming to half moon. So your right hand is going to come onto the mat. Your right foot acts as a kickstand here while your left hand and your left foot lift towards the ceiling. Now you're not very far from the mat. So if you fall out of this, it's gonna be A-okay. Flex your top foot and now press it out as long as it can go. That's it, good job, Mike. Two more breaths here. Lifting your hips so that they stack one on top of the other. Last breath, come down and we'll switch sides. Hey, you guys did a remarkable job with that. Let's go left side. Usually, if you haven't done this before, you fall out once or twice, and then you'll get the hang of it. Look over your top hand. See if you can bring any more lightness to the pose. Hug in through your core. Last breath. Feet down. Nicely done. Rock a little bit back and forth. Here we go. And for this last one. Let's lay, take tree pose on our spine. So roll the whole way onto your back and we'll move to tree pose. So this one's the easiest one to cop out and go, yep, we're just not doing any work here, all right? <laughs> so your right foot is gonna come up into your inner thigh, your shin, your ankle, wherever it is. But I want you to keep this knee up off the mat. So how you're going to do this is by hugging into center line. Hug into my ankle with this foot. Good job, Jill. Now keep your right knee off the mat, using your core to suspend it there for five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Left knee comes up into your chest or up into your leg. That's what I'm looking for. And now go for tree pose. Add the extension to this. So reach your top fingertips up overhead. You've got the same thing, Sarah. Hug into my ankle. That's it for five. You have this four. Hugging through your core, three. Hip down, two, and one. Let your legs go long. All right, knees up to your chest, forwards and back. On that third rock, you're going to make your way the whole way to downward facing dog. So all the way up and through. Nicely done. Downward facing dog, right side triangle. Right foot all the way to the head of your mat. 
Get long into the pose. Press your right hip back. Look for stretch in your right ribs, so your bottom rib cage. See if you can create space by reaching out here. Reaching out even through your bottom, aka your right shoulder, to lift forwards. This should actually work to make your core active. Take one more breath. Inhale, rise to stand. We're going to take side facing, wide legged forward fold. So feet to the long end of your mat. Inhale, fold, exhale. Now, you can add any sort of spice that you want to, to this pose, whether it's a bind, ninja lunges, bringing your fingertips way out in front of you, whatever the version of this pose is that's going to feel good. It's your job to take that on right now. See what bringing some softness to the pose could feel like. A little bit of bend in your knees or some softness in your elbows. Last breath. On your inhale, we'll rise up and take namaste front facing forward fold. So both feet out in front of you on railroad tracks. Inhale, fingertips bound. Exhale, fold forwards. See if you can press through the crown of your head. This is going to help you keep your spine long. So reaching all the way out and then pressing through your sits bones. Good job. Just like that. Take twisting triangle. Left hand down to the mat. Right hand out towards the side. Good job. Now keep breathing through your left side ribs. Getting all that space here. Good job, last breath, chaturanga. Move through, up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale, left side triangle. And that's it, left foot all the way up and through. Here, now before you fold, so your left foot is forwards. I want to make sure I'm doing this the right way. Bring your arms out to a T like you are going to warrior two. Now with your right hand, I want you to grab your left rib cage. So this hand is actually going to be in charge of the bottom side of your body, all right? So pulling through your right hand, reach forwards. You can feel your rib cage shifting out to the side here. Now as far as you can reach forwards, Drop your bottom hand down towards your knee. The side of your body should stay long here. This is your triangle. So the bottom side body is super active here. Look through your top shoulder now. See if you can add any more twist with this bottom hand looking up. And now we'll move out. Or wait, sorry. Inhale, rise up. That's what I was looking for. Take side facing wide legged forward fold. And all the way down. You've got some deep desire to get upside down. You're welcome to do so here. Or take another version of the fold, whether that is a bind, ninja lunges, whatever it may be, low belly, hugs up and in, super active here. Heels are pressing through the mat or straight up towards the ceiling. Last breath. Before you bring your feet back down, come to a halfway lift, inhale, and we'll rise the whole way to standing. Feet face the front of your mat, and we'll take namaste front facing, forward, fold, interlace your fingertips behind your back, fold all the way over your left leg. Actively press backwards through your left hip. twisting triangle right hand down left hand out towards the side keep all the space along your ribs 
So you're expanding the sides of your body into the twist. Yeah, that's it. Good job. One more time with the breath here. And then come down to the mat. Chaturanga. Move through. Upward facing dog with your breath in. Downward facing dog. Exhale. And from here, roll to your high plank. Yep, all the way out. Hug into this high plank, letting your shoulder blades hug up and together. Now from here, down onto the mat, all the way down to the floor. Take your hands out wide. Let's go. Locust pose, round one. Press down, lift up, inhale, locust pose. That's it. Draw your shoulders together for five, four, three, two, one, down. You can take top your knees side to side if you'd really like to. Second set, press down, lift up, inhale, locust pose, round two. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, all the way back down. Take top your knees if you'd like, side to side. Let's take floor bow. We'll do two sets. So however you want to go, floor bow, hands out wide. It's down, lift up, inhale, floor bow, round one, five, four, three, two, one. All the way back down. Knees side to side. Let's kick it up. Second set, floor bow, ready, set, floor bow, go. Yogis, flex your feet, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down, knees side to side. Take an upward facing dog. Inhale, shoulder blades straight onto your spine. Breathe in, lift up. Bring your knees down to the mat. We're going to roll all the way into Brazil's. Yep, so all the way onto your spine. We're going to need a block for this part, a version of bridge. Does everybody have one? Yes, we do. Minnie and Jeanette, anything that can support your weight that's approximately this size, that's what we're going for. From here, lift your hips up into bridge pose. So it's this little mini bridge. And from here, you're going to slide your block right underneath of your sacrum. So right behind your pelvis is what you're looking for. On your inhale, reach this right foot straight up into the air. Now on your exhale, as slow as you can, you're going to lower it to the mat. Using your deep ab muscles here, point your toes. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, lower this right foot down. You have to go slow and concentrate on the muscles in your core. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, nice and slow to lower. Inhale, up. Exhale, slow lower. Just you to one point. Last one, inhale, up. Slow lower on this exhale. Inhale, bring the leg up, and then we'll switch sides. So right foot down, left foot to the ceiling. We've got five of these. Exhale to lower. Inhale up. Exhale to lower. Inhale up. Exhale lower. We're already halfway there. Inhale up. Two more. And up. Last one. And up. Both feet down to the mat. Now remove this block out from underneath of you. Lift to the front of your pelvis up towards your tail, uh, up towards your belly button. Let your tailbone descend, and then roll your whole spine onto the mat. So I want your shoulders all the way down to the back of your hips, all of that onto the mat. Now inhale, both legs up. On your exhale, drop your legs just low enough that your low back is staying on the mat, but you can feel all your belly muscles engage. On your exhale, you're gonna, or inhale, let your right leg drop just a little bit. Inhale, bring it up. 
exhale left leg drops a bit inhale bring it up keeping both legs just a little bit lowered inhale up exhale switch let's keep going back and forth for 10 9 8 7 6 5 low back down 4 3 2 1 inhale both legs up and now shins parallel with the mat press your hands against your knees knees hug up into your hands again this is always my favorite abs. Press your hands to the tops of your knees. Hug in for 10, nine, flex your feet, eight, seven, six, here, bring your hands up way high, five. Now press as hard as you can go, four, three, two, one, knees into your chest, rock head to toe three times. We're making our way to right side half pigeon, however you would like to get there. Keep your belly active and bridge up. Ugh. Keep your belly active here in half pigeon. So part of opening this particular section of the journey into power sequence, there's a reason that it comes right after stability, AKA abs. And part of that reasoning is that to be controlled about opening, to have the strength to create a new stretch in your body, you have to keep your core engaged. Part of what can happen if you're like a super flexy person with lots of space for opening in their hips and their knees, all that sort of stuff, is that those people actually end up overstretching. I had um, an instructor, another person who is super flexible. She explained it like, I feel like a doll or like a puppet or something. All my joints just pop out of place. You have to add the strength to stretch. Stretching in and of itself is good for you, but after too long, all stretch with no strength does end up in a place where you don't want to be. So see if you can add some strength to this pose, whether or not it's your belly hugging in or activating your back leg. Add a sprinkle of strength here to balance out the pose. On your next inhale, come back to down dog. And we'll switch sides, left side half pigeon. Get your gaze active, drishti to one point. Where can you create stira sukha in your body? The balance of effort and ease. Perhaps you're over efforting in this pose. You're trying to hold way too tight to the shape of the pose, trying to really control how much opening you get, how much stretch happens. What if you brought some softness just by breathing? Letting one piece of this pose be easy. Take one more breath before we inhale and come to downward facing dog. 
From down dog, come to a seated position with both legs out in front of you. We're going to go for seated forward fold. Inhale, both fingertips up to the ceiling. Exhale, soft knees and fold forwards. Make sure that you're pulling your shoulder blades back here to get a nice long spine, pressing through the crown of your head and sitting deep into your sits bones. On your next inhale, roll up. We'll take tabletop or reverse plank. Let your head drop back. Look for the opening across your shoulders. That's it. Press through your heels. Lift into your hips. Bring your hips all the way down onto the mat. All right. Let's get upside down. Headstands or handstands are optional. Come up into shoulder stand or waterfall if you're not feeling either of those options. However you want to do it, hips above your heart one more time. Shoulder stands can come to plow. My upside downers can grab a quick child's pose. Plow come to deaf yogis. And then slowly roll your way back down onto your mat. Extend your legs out long. We're going to right side supine twist. So hug your knees up into your chest. Let your knees drop to the left. Eyes over your right shoulder for supine twist. For my yogis in studio, there's a cold eye towel by the upper upper right for most of you, hand corner of your mat. Please feel free to use it. Hug your knees into your chest. Let them switch to the right side of your body, eyes over your left shoulder. Breathe and let your shoulder melt down onto the mat. Hug your knees up into your chest. Take Shavasana. Let your legs and arms go long with your eyes closed. Let your breath come back to its steady rhythm. your inhales flowing straight into your exhales.
Let your whole body melt down onto the mat. Take a breath in and let it go. One more time. Take an inhale, followed by an exhale. When you're ready, hug your knees up into your chest. Rock onto your right side, placing the very center of your forehead down on the mat. Inhale, rock your way up to a seated position. Inhale, both fingertips up. And exhale your hands down to heart center. We'll close class just like we started it today with one ohm. Take a breath in. Um. Bring your thumb knuckles up to forehead center. The light in me sees, honors, and acknowledges the light in every single one of you. Together we bow our heads and we say, Namaste. Thanks, guys. It was great to see you this morning. Thank you for letting me try out a few new hands-on assists. We're working on bringing those back into the studio. And actually, over the weekend, we had a little, um, our teachers do some little workshops on how to learn things like that. So thank you guys for being my guinea pigs. That's I tried out some new things today. I appreciate it. And that's it. Per usual, just line your blocks up along the wall, and I'll clean all of them off. <laughs>